and welcome back to Ion Radio. I'm Kent. I'm John. And today we are bringing you Match 5. So this is the first match of the second round of our 2024 This Is Madness series. Okay, so we have winners from our first round. We have myself playing Rovechkin, Admiral Screedless. And I have Jeff Carpenter second, the seconds, Moff Gergerod list. So point uh, worth mentioning is that, John, you won with uh, Jared Gerard last time, and I won with Screed. Uh... So we're flipping the lists. So our goal is to try to get us to play as many of the lists as possible. So we're going to try to change things up as we go through rounds. So I want to take a quick moment to thank all the patrons. Thanks so much for uh, helping out with the channel. We really appreciate it. If you guys at home are interested in joining their ranks, link is down below. Okay, let's take a look at both these fleets and how they got here. This fleet is brought to you by Rovechkin. He has an Admiral Screed list coming in at 298 points. Screed is sitting on a Victory 2 class Star Destroyer with heavy ion emplatements. The second ship is a Gladiator 1 with Assault Concussion Missiles. The third ship is a Raider 2 with Disposable Capacitors and heavy ion emplacements. The last ship is a Gazanti Cruiser with Comsnet. Rounding out the fleet is four TIE Fighters acting as a screen. Coming in at 299 points is Jeff Carpenter II's Moff Gerard fleet. Gerard is on a victory too with Governor Price, Darth Vader, this is the boarding troopers version, Link Turbo Laser Towers, the MS-1 Ion Cannons, the Haro Tidal, and Engine Tax. There's a Quasar Fire 1 with Minister Tua, boarding troopers, boosted comms, and electronic countermeasures. Final ship is a Gazanti cruiser flotilla with Emperor Palpatine aboard and Comsnet. Four squadrons. Merrick Steele leads the charge with Colonel Jendon, Black Squadron, and Tempest Squadron in tow. I won the bid and selected to go first. The choices I got were Surprise Attack, Asteroid Tactics, and Solar Corona. Pretty much all of these are bad, so I decided to go with Solar Corona. Thank you for watching Ion Radio. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Come join us on our Discord and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links are in the video description. For great looking acrylic tokens and accessories, head over to Admiral Tater's Ship Shop. You can find the Ion Radio rulers that we use in our battle reps exclusively here. The high quality game mats featured in this episode were provided by Imperial Star Shop. Check out his store for this and other mats for Star Wars Armada. I have that down to like a centimeter now. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Okay, so with Solar Corona, I had to put all of my ships down first. They are all going speed two with a nice fighter blob in the middle. On my side of the board, everything is also going speed two. I've got Jendon and Merrick in the center. I have Tempest over here, Black over here, because otherwise they're just going to get run over. Uh, and Solar Corona is going to be on this side, my right, John's left. Okay. OK, 
Okay, Screed's fleet's gonna go ahead and start off with the Gazanti revealing a navigate. Gonna take it and we're gonna go ahead our speed two. Right to there. I'm gonna start with my Gazanti. Shows a squadron. I'm gonna take that at a token, as a token. Comms net it over to the Quasar. And then move ahead at speed two. The victory is going to go, revealing the navigate, taking it as a token, and going speed two. Bam. Quasar is my next activation. It shows a nav. We are going to take that as a token, and then move speed two. And actually, John, I think I've already messed up my plan because I think I'm going to overlap the squadron that I pushed off to the side so I don't overlap it. Okay. No, I missed it. Yep. Just. Gladiator is going to go. We're revealing a navigate. I think I'm going to use it as a dial. So I need to see if I can start getting into some range. Yeah, go up to speed three, land right here. Victory. We have a nav, we're going to use that as the dial, I think. I'm just going to get this out of the way. And we'll land right on top of it. And here's where I land over squadrons. I have this great plan, John. So that will be both. Raider's gonna go, Raider's revealing a, you guessed it, navigate, we're gonna use it. I think I need to be going speed four though. Squadrons, to you. Assuming my movement of squadrons wouldn't matter to you. Oh, no, sorry. It's all right. Jendon's going to hide out here. I'm just going to touch them all onto like that. You weren't moving in forward anyway. Not enough to have an impact yet. There's black right there. Tempest. It's going to sit over here. And Merrick, on the other hand, he can go up to speed five. Jump him right here. That's turn one. Yeah. Start with my Gazanti, it's revealing squadrons, and I can activate two. Those two. We're going to fly forward. We're going to land over here so that we're going to be engaging with uh, Merrick. Merrick, but not with the other one. Like so. 
So the first one won't have swarm, the second one will. Yep. So three dice. Uh, take one. Okay, I'll take one, and then the second one. Uh, re-roll it. Take two. All right, so he'll brace the second one to take one. So I'll take two total. Eric is down to four. I'm going to activate the Quasar. Okay. Quasar shows squadrons. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to activate some squadrons. So let's activate all four. We're going to start with Merrick. Uh, and we're going to go after the TIE Fighter closest to me because I have to attack TIE Fighters. Yep. Two and two. And I think fun, do I know? Uh, it's a dead TIE Fighter. Kaboom! Now I can move him if I so wish. You can't, you're locked out with the other one. I'm locked up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have grit, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I do. So you can if you want. So, I, but... Okay. We're gonna move Merrick here. We're gonna stay engaged with this guy, but now we're staring down here. That's the first one. Second one, we're gonna go ahead and move Jendon. To be with you too, you know? I am. Jen's gonna activate. First thing he's gonna do is tell Merrick to shoot the other TIE fighter. Okay. See if I can knock this one out. Uh, yeah, another four. Boom. And then he is going up. The Lambda's only moved three, right? Yep. Tempest here. Tempest lands here. Should be out of range here. Yep. Bombs in front of the Gazanti. One black. Four hit crit. That's a bomber. It is a bomber. Reroll it. Hit crit. Okay, all right, take a crit. Crew panic before you reel dial, suffer damage. And then Black is gonna move up here. He will also bomb in with a blue. Hit. Yikes, Ken. I have to scatter it. I believe we are at medium range. We are. So three blue dice from the Quasar in the front of the Gazanti. Unfortunately, I am in the Solar Corona. So that goes away. Two hits. Scatter to stay alive. Okay, no other shots. We are moving at speed two. What we're going to do is spend my token to drop to speed one. Let's go forward. We're going to go with Screed himself. Screed is revealing a squadron. We're going to activate the last two of these guys. I can move anywhere. So we're going to come all the way back to here. Like so. So I shouldn't be engaged with that guy. And just I'm Merrick. Just engaged with Merrick. Okay. And we're going to hit you with three. For a grand total of nothing. 
And then this guy is going to splash himself right here. Engage everyone and shoot at Black Squadron because I don't have another choice. Right. For take two. Ooh. Uh, black takes two and then counters one. For nothing. And we're going to go ahead and start moving. Let's see if I actually want to go there. Yep. Stay at speed to move to there. There's long still. Yep. Activate the Gazanti. Gazanti shows a nav. I'm going to take it as a token. Pass it to the victory. No shots. Speed to. Raider's gonna go. We gotta navigate. We're gonna use it. I think we're gonna drop to speed two. And come in like this. Activating a victory. Victory shows a concentrate fire. We'll use that as the dial. Oh. Let's go ahead. We're gonna make Long range shot, victory into the Gazanti. Three dice, minus one for obstruction, so two reds. And we are going to confire in another red. Block that, does that knock it, it out? I already killed yeah. it. Mm. You got really lucky. Uh, I did. Oh, I wish I had gunnery teams. I do not. Uh, I don't think I can shoot at it from my side. Can you get a laser line on it? No. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, using the token I just got, dropping the speed one. one. Okay, my last ship is a gladiator. We're going to activate it. It has a navigate. We're going to use it. My shot is going to be two red dice into the front of your ship over here. Uh, the victory? No, it's, uh, the that would be obstructed. Quasar. Quasar, Ken. Here we go. Boom, take two. Um, brace and redirect the far side. I'm going to ram your victory and fall back to two. Would you ram the victory? Would you ram? Yeah, because you're not going to hit the quasar. Nope. Yeah, okay. Angles. <laughs> so, victory. Takes one. Gladiator takes one. Is that it for a turn? That's it for the turn. On to turn three. Screed's going to go ahead and start off with the gladiator revealing a con fire. We're going to start by shooting my side into the front of the Quasar. Four red dice. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, thanks dice. We're going to confire in on this one with a black dice. And then we're going to screed 
four damage. Race that to two. This is in the front, right? I can only hit your front. Yeah. I before you get to do that, I can cush and so both your sides take one. Okay. So one, one, and the two comes off the front. Okay. Yep. Then I'm going to shoot my front into you. Cool. One damage to you, Ken. Um, I'm going to redirect that to the spot where I got shield. And then I ram your victory. Yep. Cool. I'm going to activate the Quasar. The Quasar shows squadrons, so let's go ahead and activate a few. Let's, uh, let's start with Black Squadron here. And he's going to go after that um, TIE Fighter. Yep. So three blues. For two hits. Oh, I need. Okay. Uh, Jendon is going to let Black fire again. He's gone. That frees up Merrick, uh, but we're locked here, right? Yep. So Merrick is going to shoot at that other TIE fighter. Two. Cool. Survives on one. And Tempest is not locked down by anyone. He has to move to be engaged. Yeah. So he is moving. I'm going to stare him down. And take him out. Yeah. Not what I wanted to do, but mm. let's now my front into the front of the uh, uh, gladiator. Three blues. Forgot the boarding troopers here. Three. We will. Redirect it to this side, like so. If I go forward one, no, it might not hit your shield dial. If I turn, I will. Yep. Yeah. Squish everyone. Yeah, I'm going to wind up squishing everyone. Not boarding troopers. Okay. Raider goes off. Are we in medium range? Do I have to spend disc caps? Is the question. I do not have to spend it. So, Raider does not spend disc caps, revealing a con fire. We're going to shoot into the front of your uh, victory. Here we go, initial. Yeah. Con fire in. Cool, take three into your front. Uh, and you still have the victim shoot. Uh, we're going to... All right, redirect. We're going to go to this side. Okay, and I'm going to use heavy ions. ion. Your sides and your and front. The front. One, two, three. So we're going to push the two here, take one more here. HIE is a deadly card on a raider. Yes, it is. I'm cruising at speed three. So we're going to definitely ram you. <laughs> And drop back to speed two. Let me let me just grab a speed two. That'll make it easier. Each of us take a damage. Oh, 
Okay, John. I'm going to... I am, I'm taking a risk here. I'm going to activate the Gazanti, showing a squadron, and I am going to comms net that to the victory. I don't think we're in range here. I should not be. It's close. Now we're out. So we're just going to move speed two. This victory is going to start shooting, or the Gazantis are going to start shooting at you next turn, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> They're going to do tons of damage. It's going to be the MVP. All right, let's see if what I did was the smart thing, Jeff. Jump the side to your front, and I'll take it. Okay. Victory with Screed is going to be revealing a concentrate fire, shooting into the front of your victory. Let's do it. We're going to keep all three blues, drop a red. So two reds, three blues, into the front of the victory. This will go away. Yep. I will add in a blue dice with Confire. I will drop a blue dice with Screed to do that. That's going to be a total of five damage. Okay, so that's what I figured it'd be. We are going to brace that to three, and I'm going to redirect to the side that still has shields. Okay, I'm going to use Heavy Ion, so one off the front, one off each side. I got nothing over there but only impact shields, so I'm taking three. There's one from the shield, and then I get two, two more, more face down. Yep. One, two. Okay, that's five. Then I'm going to shoot long range, obstructed, into the front of your quasar. That's just a red dice for a blank, but we get to roll it anyway. Yep. It's great when you can call your dice. We're going to drop to speed one and go a little bit curvy like that. Here we go. Here's why I did what I did. Victory two, engineering. When I reveal the dial, uh, I'm going to discard the squadron dial or a squadron token so I can use Vader. Screed, uh, are you at close range? Definitely close range, but you can't kill commanders. Non-commander. Okay. So you can get rid of Ion. I only have one card per ship, so you can get rid of an Ion or a Concussion on any of my ships. Uh, let's take the Concussion off the Gladiator, and then Vader's discarded, right? Correct. Yeah. Alright, Vader got to be used. That made me happy. Uh, with the Engineering, I get four points. We are going to recover two shields onto the front. And then I really need to take one of these out. Got to be the gladiator. Okay. Double arc down the victory. Full blast into the gladiator. I'm going to drop one of the blue dice. So two reds, three reds, two blue. And that goes away leaving me with this. I am going to LTT the red and I am going to spend the shield with price. We are going to convert this into a uh, accuracy lock the brace take three. We will get rid of the redirect. We do all the shields. So two shields to the side, one to the front. Okay. Uh, second shot. The whole hog into the uh, into the raider, I think. So blue, two reds. Drop the blue. LTT that, three. Three roll the double. Two. Brace it to one, and one to the face. 
Watch, I'm moving at speed one. I'm going to ram the gladiator and stay where I'm at. And one comes away with the station. Oh, jeez, Ken. That's it. Yeah, that is it for turn three. start with this gladiator right here. Big surprise, con fire. Using it, we're going to shoot into the front from my side and see what happens. Concentrating fire in a black dice. Now we're going to screed this to a double so it's that nice perfect number for your brace. Uh, well, there's two, and that's the front. I got no shield, so I have to take them. Are you going to... I have no crit effect anymore. You got rid of it. I took it off that ship. That's right. So, so the first one will be a crit. Will be a crit. The first one is this one. It is a structural damage. It's what I needed, but I don't have enough damage. Three. Okay. Front shot into your side. Cool. Well, Screech can only be used once. Yep. No, I might as well burn it here. Uh, make that one redirected to the shield. And then I ram the victory. The victory. All right. Quasar. Squadrons. Um, as we reveal the dial, I'm going to spend a token to boarding troopers, the gladiator. So that's what, all of them? Yep. Boom. Boom. Okay, and we are going to start moving squadrons, so let's move black first. Uh, we're going to go over here, into the side. Black rolls a black. Blue. No, that's Tempest. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's blue. Look at the wrong one here for a crit, but he's not a bomber. Merrick. Right here next to you. Merrick is double blue. Uh, that was a crit. I can turn it into a crit. Into a crit, take two. Die. Crit is injured crew. Choose and discard one of your defense tokens. We'll get rid of the evade. Can I reach? Yeah. Tapest flies over here. Into the front. Black die. One. Okay, I take it. And then I am going to move Jendon here. Fire again with uh, Tempest. Four, one. Cool, I take it again. Oh, we've already measured this out. I've got no shots from my front. I can hit, are we obstructed? I can shoot your side, though. So we're going to go my side to the side of your victory. Okay. Two blues. Uh, it's not going to matter. And then I might as well move. Uh, I am currently moving at speed one. Him, I'm overlapping him. I am not going to overlap Jensen. Just, just bump, bump him out of the way. Avoid the asteroid. Screed is going to activate himself. We got to concentrate fire. Oh, 
How much health does your victory have left? Two. Oh. It's two on the victory. I thought it was more than this. No, because it's... I, let me I'm count. looking at it One, and... two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> no, John, I only have two. Yes, there's only two. I'm going to hide these other... <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, well, easier choice. Yep, so we're gonna start by shooting my side into your front of the quasar, uh, which is this. Hey, John, did you know that that's three damage? Yes, it is. Uh, no crits, though. One, two, three is six. There goes the quasar. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, I, I, I'm tracking what, what you were putting down <laughs> earlier, just not realizing. Uh, honestly, like, I thought you had two health from this view. That's how I was calculating it. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay, so now the front is going to shoot into the front, or to, into the side of the victory. And that's going to be dropping a red dice like this. That goes away. We're going to con fire in a blue dice. We're going to get rid of this dice and turn that into a crit. Well, I think. Hang on. I got. I need two. You're hitting my front or my side. Side. <clears throat> All right. So, and then I stay. So I have to spend both. So brace. Redirect will redirect to the rear, but then I have the eye on your front and your rear yep. and your side has nothing on it. So I take two, which I believe is just enough to kill me. Let me double check my math one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, John, you take it out. Okay, so going speed one, sadly, I'm going to ram my raider staying right where I'm at. Spread in some love. So what do I need to kill the raider? Three damage to go through. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and activate the Gazanti, which has a nav that I was going to push over to the Quasar so it can get out. I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to keep the nav for myself. Uh, We're going to fire, John, into the front. Yeah, why am I doing that? Front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to shield. fire, I have to lose a shield. Uh, we're firing into the front of your raider. Take one, John. I will just take it. Okay. You have a shield there, so you just take it on the oh, shield. Oh, okay. And uh, speed two. I think if I jump to speed three, can I do something fun? Like take an asteroid and a debris field? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can't avoid that. Not if I do that. I'll go the other way. Oh, yeah, that'll work. I'm going to do this cheeky maneuver here. Okay. Plot myself over here. Does it avoid everything? Cool, I'm now at speed three. Check that out. Okay. All fighters have activated. Game's over. Yeah, they have. Cool, yeah. So, end the game. We're back, and my strategy did not quite work because, to be fair, your dice at the end of the game showed up and yeah. took out some ships. The beginning of the game was rough <laughs> with dice, and then there's this time period that I'm doing all this math, and Ken's like, you're going to kill me with the one ship, and I'm like, no, Ken, I'm not. And I'm just sitting here doing all this math of, like, poor rolls, like, how poor of a roll can I get to still try <laughs> to get something? And then I'm like, well, how much damage do you have? And he's like, obviously, like... I need to, but the Solar Corona yellow blocks blocking me, so I thought his victory had way, way more health. <laughs> and 
if it was that more health, I did I did do the math right. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you, you wouldn't have taken it out. Um, so my strategy, because I knew I was going to lose that victory. Um, John didn't, but I did. Uh, and the hope was the quasar would survive; that you would just be pummeling the the victory. And then I could take the Quasar, and you know, if I could have made it work, uh, and I could get the squadrons in to take out the Raider, I would have won. Um, I would have actually lost if I didn't take out the Raider uh, by about 20 points, give or take. It was that if close. If the Quasar to, survived. If the Quasar survived. Notice that was the big if, was if the Quasar survived. Uh, but clearly it did not. So Jeff, uh, really apologize, um, couldn't quite make it through, but we had a good shot at it. Yep. Okay, congratulations to Rovechkin and Admiral Screed is going to be the first fleet in the finals of the 24 Madness. So, of course, stay tuned next week to see who the uh, opponent will wind up being. We're going to take a moment right here to once again thank all of our patrons. Thank you so much for helping out here at the channel. We definitely appreciate it. If you guys at home are interested, link is down below. Okay, um, if you like the acrylic tools and measuring and tokens that we're using on the channel, check out Admiral Tater. If you spend $50 or more and use the code IONRADIO15, you get 15% off your whole order. All right, until next time, I'm Ken. I'm John. And this is Madness.